everybody. Welcome back to IP Farms. Well, the daunting task begins. This injection pump on 1086. Um, doing a little backwards from what I said. I said I was going to finish the water pump up, but I actually got the uh, kit in for the injection pump sooner than I did the water pump. So we're going to go ahead and attempt it. Um, I'll try to bring you along for as much as I can. I'll show you a few things I've already done. Um, there's several different ways I think you can approach this. I've been told by a very uh, generous subscriber that uh, I might should pull the injection pump off and you know put it on the bench to work on it. Um, I'm going to try to do it the simplest, if that's a word, and the easiest way for me with my OCD and try not to mess with any more than I absolutely have to to do this. So. Uh, all I'm going to attempt to do is replace the o-ring and the hydraulic head of the injection pump. It's a quad-sided o-ring on the bottom and a small one on the top and you got a, I think a meter in shaft they call it. It's got to come out that goes in it. Uh, it's got an o-ring on it. You know that's what I'm going to try to replace. They say these things are really prone to that o-ring getting a groove in it and the aluminum housing having to replace the housing. I've read and read and read and debated and debated and debated. We're just gonna pull it apart and see what it looks like. Um, heard a lot of people say that, you know, different types of silicone and stuff around that O-ring will take up the extra. So uh, we're gonna see what happens. But uh, let me show you a little bit about uh, what I've done so far and we'll get started. Okay, it looks as though we're gonna fight the shadows again today the way the tractor's sitting, but um, with my mind, what I've done is come up with a uh, arrangement for the injection lines and just taped them to which injector they go into on the tractor. I don't think it's in any right order or the way it uh, firing order or anything like that, but um, that's the way my mind works and that's how I'm gonna do it. Uh, I think I have to kind of bend these up out of the way to get that uh, head out of there. So I didn't wanna take a chance. I don't know, it might be three or four or five days before I get back to it. So I don't want to check a chance on messing anything up. So what I did was, out of the sun here, um, I just took the manual and basically right here, just with the injection pump, I just, you know, drew a little uh, diagram here. I just numbered them uh, clockwise. I'm not sure if that's the way it turns or not, the way it fires, but that's just how I can remember what it is. I've labeled each injection line and each port here. So I'll know when I go back in with it, that this is how it needs to be, so. Um, I've done that, uh, removed the line from the uh, fuel filters down, and I've already cracked all the injector lines loose just to make sure I wasn't going to have any problems with that. So, uh, timing, um, I think there's 10 different ways you can skin a cat sometimes about certain things. So, um, like I said before, I've got this book here, and uh, this is actually the book for the injection pump itself, tearing it apart. Uh, I do have one that Mr. Patch of Heaven gave me for the tractor and it details how to pull the injection pump off of the tractor, but I'm trying to get by without doing that. So um, this one gives you the details about how to pull the hydraulic head, I think they call it, like I've said, out of the uh, pump itself. So we'll get you set up here and we'll see if what we can do. Okay, here we go. We'll get started. Got to remove this tie wire here on the uh, for the inspection plate. The kit comes with new tie wires. There's another one inside here. Uh, we gotta take this plate off the side of the pump and that's where this metering rod is that we've got to uh, get out before we can take the head off. So, <clears throat> got that off, see if I can get these broke loose. There's gonna be fuel coming out of here the best I understand. Just wanna tell everybody up front, I'm sure some of you are screaming in the background saying, oh my gosh, what is he doing? It's trial by fire with me. Don't claim to know exactly what I'm doing. Everybody swears if you got a book, you can do this. So I'm gonna go right by the book and see what happens. If it goes array, it goes array. Okay. Got 
got some oil in it in the cover. See the cover there I pulled off. Don't hurt those screws to set in that for right now. Uh, okay, I see the tie wire. There's a control shaft um, that goes on this metering rod. Yeah, then I gotta take the piece of uh, tie wire off of these retaining plate screws. I don't know if you can see me or not. I might better put you in a different position. Hang on. Let me put you in a different position so you can see more about what's going on. Okay, I don't know if that's better or worse. GoPro's already got diesel fuel all over it. But anyway, there's a piece of tie wire right here that holds these uh, screws together. You know what? I'm gonna take a picture of that the way it is. I'll just go ahead and say ahead of time, this one's probably gonna get long-winded here. Uh, I had a couple people said they were interested in seeing it, so. We're gonna try it. It said make sure you get all the pieces of the tie wire out of the uh, out of the uh, pump if anything breaks. good pair of end snips it's just, it's just tie wire so a couple of twists it'll break off of there just make sure you don't lose a piece of it so they say well I said it would break off Lord have mercy My arms probably all in the shot struggles are real folks struggles are real I don't claim to know exactly what I'm doing here by no means so okay we got it broke Okay, tie wire's out. Whole piece of the tie wire, nothing broke off. Okay. Now, I'm reading the manual here behind you. Remove the two control unit retaining plate screws. Lock washers retaining plate and spacers together to avoid dropping spacers into pump. Okay, that's exactly what I needed to hear. I see the spacers they're talking about. It's like two machine head screws, if you will, with two lock washers behind the head. And then I'll show you in a second if I don't drop them. Two spacers behind that. So, okay, if you can see that, got the screw, the plate, there's a lock washer behind the screw head, the plate and then two spacers there. We'll run this in the shop. Okay, now, uh, got that. Now it says disengaging the control rod, which is here. This is the control rod for the metering rod. It says pry the control unit flange partially out from the pump housing so that the screwdriver can be placed behind the control unit flange. Carefully remove the unit with two screwdrivers and remove o-ring from control unit assembly. Oh wow. Okay. That just that just sets in the pump and that retaining plate, I guess that's what it holds everything in, holds it together. So 
That's the control rod. Get that out of the way, maybe. Let's see. It says two screwdrivers are pry it back with the O-ring removing the control unit assembly. Okay, hang on. Okay, I went back and read some more on the book before I removed that head. Got a tab here and a tab here. Sorry about the wind. And it says that this tab here is supposed to be at three o'clock and this one's supposed to be at six o'clock. So before I removed anything else, I put it back up here and made sure that it would go in and it does, it goes all the way back. So that's the way you're supposed to reinstall it. So it went back in fine. So I think we'll be okay. It's just got a little rubber O-ring on the, uh, on the shaft itself there, which the kit's got that in it. See O-ring here, quad ring, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Let's move on to the next step. Okay, everybody, I believe we'll wrap this one up for today. Uh, was able to get the injection lines loose. Um, got those marked up, showed you that, how I did it and with my OCD. Uh, we got the side cover off. We got the control rod off. We got the control rod plunger off, which is basically the governor control. Um, and the tab that holds that, uh, here it is. I think I showed it in the video. Got some spacers on it, two machine screws. Um, there is a tolerance on that when we put it back uh, for the control rod itself to hold that plunger in there with the O-ring, I think. Um, but anyway, we're gonna wrap this one up. Like I said, uh, I don't feel comfortable as lazy as it is in the day pulling the head out. Uh, that plunger, um, I'll go over that a little bit more when we put it back in. Um, as far as the specifications of what they're saying, I think I mentioned it earlier, but uh, I did it three or four times the way it should be. I've got everything marked up. Um, so it should be just remove the head, replace the quad side, O-ring, check the housing. Hopefully it's not all pitted up, drop it back in, put the plunger back in, new O-ring there, new side cover gasket, and hopefully that'll at least slow the leak down. I'm hoping it'll solve it, but you know, these things are prone to, uh, the housings to eat up around where that quad ring is. And some people say they can replace the, o the quad ring and it'd be fine. And some people say that they're pitted, you know, and you got to replace the housing. So, you know, I do everything on the cheap, so we're going to see what happens, but, um, you know, tomorrow's another day. Uh, thank you all for everything you do. Uh, hopefully these videos will be interesting. I've got to get this unit back together. Uh, the bottom land in the donkey pasture and all in the front field is growing back up. Got to get the bush hogging in between everything else I got going on. Uh, the stuff going on in the bottom land, you're seeing that video hopefully. But anyway, uh, I'm getting long winded again. So uh, just hang in there. We're gonna get back down the fields and do some work, but you know, it's all part of it. Maintenance, repairs, everything is something I've been putting off. So we'll see how it turns out. But uh, please consider subscribing if you hadn't already. You know, hit the thumbs up button if you like what you see. Thumbs down, I understand it's not for everybody. Um, share the video, get it out there. It might be somebody else that's uh, attempting to think about tackling this on injection pump. If it goes well for me, then you'll have a tutorial on it. If it goes haywire, then you know what not to do. So um, just wanna say again, thank you to everybody. And uh, let me know on this one if you would rather just kind of do like we did with the water pump and, you know, film a little bit and come back and talk about it. Or if you guys want to see, you know, hands on like I was doing today, it makes the video a lot longer. So up in there about that. But you guys let me know and we'll, uh, we'll do it whichever way we need to on uh, finishing tearing it down and putting it back. So till next time. Thank you.